Building Thinking Classrooms is a framework that emerged over 10 years in the work with over 400 teachers. The goal of the project was to find tools, we can call them methods or we can call them practices, uh, that both engage students and are easy for teachers to implement. So 14 years ago, I was still a PhD student, I spent three days in a middle school math classroom helping a teacher implement problem solving. She had asked me to come and, and help out, help figure out how to get her students to be more engaged and more active in problem solving. I, I realized somewhere in the middle of that week that these students were not thinking. There, were, there was not any expectation of them to think. And I also realized that the teachers, for the most part, were planning their teaching around the assumption that students either couldn't or wouldn't think. These teachers were very passionate. They were, they were by every measure, very great, excellent teachers. They were, they were um, committed to their students. They were very caring. But somehow, this notion of thinking had been lost within, the, within their practice and the philosophy of teaching. If we look back at education over the last hundred years, for the most part, classrooms have not changed. It doesn't matter if you're in an elementary classroom or a high school classroom. It doesn't matter if you're in a private school or a public school. It doesn't matter if you're in Canada or the U.S. or somewhere in Europe or Asia. For the most part, classrooms are more alike than they are different. Um, one of the things that started guiding me very early on in this work was asking the question of what if we start playing with these things that are so common, start to negotiate the non-negotiable aspects of education. Now that the framework is up and running, the research is showing that the impact on classrooms is, is huge. Um, students are engaged, fully engaged in their lessons. They are thinking the whole lesson through. Um, in mathematics, that means that they're engaging in problem solving in the way that the curriculum is intending. And it's having an impact on teachers in the way they interact with their students and the curriculum. Um, it's been picked up as a framework in probably a dozen districts in BC. Education in BC is typically seen as being top down from the ministry level down. But when you look at the 24 applicants who are applying for the Smaller Prize this year, it is, it is a powerful reminder that real change within this province, within districts and within classroom, comes from locally developed projects. To be chosen first among these is a, is a great honor. My goal is to see building thinking classrooms as a framework in every province, and I think that winning this prize is a real stepping stone in that direction.